Somewhere amongst these tanks at the Plymouth Marine Laboratory is Fred Fretzum, the man responsible for these little creatures. This is a sea urchin. Compared to me, it's tiny, but it's made up of millions of cells. Amazingly, though, it came from just one, and that's something that's definitely worth investigating. So, Fred, you spend a lot of time with sea urchins. Where do all those cells come from? Well, Howie, like all living creatures, sea urchins started off as one cell. And over a period of time, the cell multiplies and divides, and we wind up with one of these little beauties. But how can one cell grow into all of that? And where did that one cell come from? Ah, uh, well, to find that out, I think we really need to go back to the beginning of the life of the sea urchin. The single cell we're talking about is produced by other sea urchins. Now, we have the female sea urchin which produces an egg. The other is the male urchin which produces the sperm. Now, these cells are normally called half cells. Now, when the egg is fertilised by the sperm, they come together and they form one cell. All this happens naturally in the sea, but I can also do it in the lab if I take some seawater and then add urchin eggs and sperm to it. Once the eggs are fertilised, becoming a whole cell, something very special happens. That cell will now divide in, say, about half an hour, sometimes maybe an hour, and into two. And then it, the two will divide into four, four into eight, and so on. The urchin grows like many other multicelled animals and plants. Each cell in them divides into two new cells, and these cells each divide into two new cells, and so on and so on, until you have literally thousands and millions and billions of new cells. In fact, it only takes an urchin about a day to go from a single cell to the thousands of cells that make up these little baby urchins. Well, that actually looks like a proper animal already. They, well, yes. They're swimming around, they're hunting for food, they're growing, they're just, just, like, just like all animals do. They, they all have to do this. It's an incredibly complex process here. One, two, these eggs, these, these eggs just dividing and multiplying. Mm. It's, it's complicated as this for sea urchins. I mean, just think what it would be like for us. It's exactly the same. I mean, we're exactly the same. Um, One cell, then two, then four. Absolutely the same, yes. No difference whatsoever, except for the end product, of course. That's amazing. <laughs>